Todd Connitzer here. I am at House of Diamonds, and I'm standing here with Karen Cullinane. Um, and she is the owner of House of Diamonds, and her and Jean have been running this now for how long? About about 17, 17 years. 17 years, yeah, it's been all around a long time. And one of the things that we, their questions always come up is, is uh, questions on loose stones. And there's the four C's, what are the yep. four C's again? Cut, color, clarity, and carat, carat weight. weight. Uh-huh, and one of the questions as a guy that we already have, we always have is, is that we come in, we're looking at these loose stones, how do you determine carat weight, what is it, and why is it important, and, and how does it range in there? So we have all these questions. So I thought maybe, she could actually enlighten us a little bit on what we're looking for. Exactly. Well, with carat weight, it's probably the most simple out of all of them. Uh -huh. It's strictly in reference to weight, which of course, therefore, equates to size and to a great de deal, um, the overall value and price of the stone. Okay. So uh, when you're considering carat weight and you think about how that's referencing size, uh, with a diamond, you want a certain amount of proportion and weight going toward diameter as well as to the depth, and you want to stay within a certain proportion. Okay. If you get too deep, then of course the stone isn't going to look as big, right. but it's also going to be detrimental to the beauty of the stone because it's not cut right and you're not going to get the right brilliance out of the stone. Okay. Same thing if it's too shallow, it's going to look a lot bigger, but a lot of times those stones get they really... Don't, they don't have a depth look to exactly. it or they don't have a Exactly, okay. and they kind of look really foggy really easy, okay. so you want a certain proportion. And of course with carat rate or carat weight, when you get to certain size categories, right. um, you see jumps in the price. So. Uh, one carat stone is not typically double the price of a half carat. Right. It's usually triple to quadruple. Right. But those are typically good. Especially right now in today's markets and stuff on how things are going, everything's kind of fluctuating right now yep. as far as that goes too. Yep. Uh, now, coming back to that a little bit on the on the carat weight, is, is that considered different um, between different places? Again, if you go into a box store, you see that they're already cut and mounted and, and they're already in, a, in there and there's is there any way to determine is there any tips that people could use to you know yeah. that that becomes a little bit more difficult because like I said sometimes we um, we will have items come to us right. that are already mounted mm -hmm. and we can generally get a good idea of the weight or size of the stone based upon the diameter um, and basically calculation we do. But right. a lot of times we can't reach the depth, and so especially if it's a shallow or deep stone, right. we know approximately what it, it's gonna, gonna weigh, but okay. we, we won't know exactly unless the stone is loose. And of course, once it's loose, that is a very finite, definite. Then you can the use all your, your stuff that you have here yeah. and all it your basically tools. Basically a scale is all you need, but a very precise, fine scale. And again, that's probably why it's best to basically purchase your stone loose exactly. so you know the color and the clarity and you have it all documented right there and then choose your mounting. Precisely. Okay. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate Not that, Karen. I hope that helped. Uh, it helped me out a lot. And so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to stop in the House of Diamonds and we'd be happy to go over all that information and Karen's always available. So thanks, Karen. Thank you. All right.